My name is Ollie Dallas. I am eight years old, and I have cerebral palsy. <laughs> Ollie was born prematurely at 32 weeks and due to some developmental issues he was in physio from he was six months old. Um, following that he then had his MRI and was diagnosed at two and a half years old with cerebral palsy. Ollie's type of cerebral palsy is left hemiplegic meaning that his left side is more weaker than his right. As Ollie got older Ollie wanted to participate in football and we enrolled him in his local clubs and at the start he did love it but found it more difficult because he couldn't keep up with the other players on his team and um, he found that the bigger crowds and the speed was very overwhelming and um, through his physio that Ollie has been seeing from he was diagnosed we found out about Northern Ireland cerebral palsy football team that was based in Belfast and we put the idea to Ollie and he was thrilled at the idea of being able to go somewhere that kids would be just like himself. Having cerebral palsy sometimes is a challenge. My legs get sore and they get tired very easily. When I play football for other teams, I find it difficult to keep up and to be as fast as the other players. From the minute we arrived down at Hamwood Centre, Ollie felt very comfortable and at ease with the coaches and the other players within his team. He came away from that first session confident and happy in the first time in forever. We felt like we had lost him in football and then we found this team and he is just a different child from me joined. The coaches and the staff that are all involved put in such an amazing effort and really zone in on each child's individual needs. Every child that's on that pitch has different abilities of cerebral palsy and every child is cured for and no child is left behind, which is the main thing. It's definitely vital um, that they can get into an age group with themselves and um, same, similar kids with the same disabilities often because again, if they, if they can see that they're not on their own, then it brings out their confidence in themselves and then try new things. If they see someone with a similar disability, trying it and enjoying it, it gives them a lot of confidence to then go and try it. Yes. Rock, paper, scissors, Right now. As soon as he's in, he's in the middle of everyone and he's high-fiving people when they're scoring goals. He's giving hugs and whatnot whenever there were celebrations. But he's just been a real, real instrument part of, the, of our team here. I feel more comfortable playing alongside other boys that have cerebral palsy, just like me. From he has found his niche within that team. His confidence has soared and like the, the sky's the limit. Like he can, there's no stopping. He can, you know, he can go on to play for an international team. My goal someday is to play for Northern Ireland and score a goal in the World Cup. At football, I feel like there is no limits and everybody is just like me.